There are a lot of simmers who find themselves going through periods where they will play the sims and then they'll kind of drop it for a long time. They'll play it again and then they'll just kind of drop it for a long time. And I'm among those. At the moment, I'm enjoying the game quite a bit. Um, one of the main reasons why um, is because of mods. Although I do appreciate new content from the Sims team, I have to admit that lately I haven't been particularly excited about what they've been putting out. Of course, there were two kits that were released, I believe, simultaneously. Um, I don't remember what they are. I am not interested in kits just generally. Um, so you can tell by my lack of enthusiasm. I, I just, I have no interest. And they re recently released the trailer for werewolves. I know there are those simmers who are incredibly interested in this kind of content. They want more occult sims. They want more uh, variety in gameplay and so on. But again, I, I'm just kind of underwhelmed. Usually with new sims content, I'm basically looking for build by items. It doesn't mean I don't have an appreciation for cast or for gameplay, but those are not the things that will stand out to me mostly. A secondary thing that I look for will be uh, worlds. Is there a new world and is it a beautiful world? Are there sufficient lots and so on? It does appear that this pack will come with a world, but to be honest, it's very similar to Granite Falls. On the other hand, if you're able to live in that world, that would be great. Um, because we don't have the option of living in Granite Falls right now, but it's not ever something that's ever occurred to me. Like I've never actually cared. You have a world that has nothing in it basically, and you can turn that world into whatever kind of world you want it to be because it's basically a blank slate. So if I ever really wanted a world that was very much like Granite Falls, I'm pretty sure you could just kind of make it yourself, especially if you have the tool mod. But for people who don't want to use CC and things like that, I suppose it's a positive addition to the game, or it will be. When it comes to occult sims, I did enjoy playing with spellcasters, but for example, with vampires, the main reason why I downloaded that game was to have some of those spooky kind of uh, build by items, the cracks in the walls, the spider webs, and so on. I've never once actually played I think even as a vampire, let alone through the whole entire thing of what it means to be a vampire. I have no idea how any of that works and I have no interest. So having there be another occult sim is, yeah, that's not really why I play the game. Right now I'm enjoying a lot of family style let's play and it isn't as though I can't appreciate the kind of build by items that I saw in the trailer. The only problem is I feel we already have a lot of those similar items in the game. And the same thing goes with the cast. One of the benefits of using CC or using mods is it doesn't have to sort of match whatever the base like vanilla is for The Sims 4. So when they come out with new packs, I often notice that they're very, very similar. The hairstyles are very similar. The clothing are very similar. It's almost as though they take an existing hairstyle, for example, and they make a very minor change, like make it longer, give it bangs or something. And then they pretend like that's actually a new hairstyle. And I'm like, this is so similar to something that we already have. I just don't understand the point. The same thing goes for clothes. There are items that are just simply copies of other items and they look like they're standalone items and they're absolutely not. They could just be a swatch under whatever the original item was. I'm thoroughly uninterested in that kind of thing. The werewolves themselves look very cartoonish. And I guess this is because everything in the game is pretty cartoonish. It's just the art style. But that's another thing that prevents me from being excited about it. The trailer itself, I thought, was very long and it kind of dragged. And I could already predict what was going to happen before it happened. And the entire time, I was just kind of thinking, Granite Falls meets vampires. I can understand why or how some people could be excited about this. It's something that people have been asking for for a long time, and I hope that you guys really do enjoy it, but I myself don't plan on buying it. Once I have a chance to look at the build by items and actually gauge whether or not I want them, you know, when the game goes on sale at some point in the probably far future, not the near future, I may maybe might consider buying it just to have more content in the game. 
But at the moment, I'm much more interested in CC because I don't want to see a lot of the same things I've already seen before. I want something new. I want a breath of fresh air to be breathed into the game. Also, the fact that it's a game pack, the same as Vampires was a game pack, is very disappointing to me. I have a feeling that it's going to recycle a lot of the UI from a previous pack. So for example, when you have the spellcasters, when you have the vampires, when you even when you have um, actors or actresses, a lot of that is very similar to, they're all similar to each other. And so I don't, they're not coming up with anything new or unique. So for me, it would make more sense if they simply introduced it as a stuff pack. But again, it depends on, you know, what kind of items we're actually going to get. If there are a lot of, not to say new, but kind of unique items that I don't already have in the game that I can't feel satisfied with using something that's already similar in the game. Again, that might pique my interest a little more. But the trailer, honestly, the most interesting thing about the trailer was the, the pea shot. That made me crack up. I, I don't even know why. But anyway, that just about sums up my ideas about the new pack. I wonder how you're feeling about it. If you're excited about it, you can't wait to buy it, can't wait to play it. Um, if you are just sort of holding out like I am to check out the items to build by the, not necessarily cast, but you know, for you, maybe it might be cast. Um, or if you're just flat out disinterested, which I'm kind of leaning towards that. If you think about it as like a, like a scale, <laughs> I'm sort of kind of leaning in the disinterested like realm of like, uh, I'm likely not going to buy the pack. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.